Aloha, this is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com. I'm doing a Monday market wrap. First, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. As you can see, the NASDAQ did exactly what I told you it would do. It's failing the 200-day moving average. It came and it sucked up people right here on the 14th and since then it's rolled straight over. Volume slightly picked up today and that combined with the 2% change is an, an actual distribution day. So we have another distribution day on the NASDAQ. Since volume was so much lower than the 50-day volume average, I don't have much to say other than when you see a chart like this from November to now, you don't want to be long stocks. And we're going to go ahead and show you the New York Stock Exchange. Um, the New York Stock Exchange is even in a more precarious situation with it being under the 50 and 200 day moving average and failing before it can even make it to the 50 day moving average. That along with the S&P 500, as soon as it gets up here, failing, trying to break out back above the 50 day moving average and once again failing and falling below the 50 day moving average it shows that this um, 500 is trying to play with the 50 day moving average and it's not being played with very nicely as it's definitely failing here again and I would assume that pretty soon we're gonna see these July lows pretty soon um, let's do the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, the low volumes, why I'm not going to stick too much on these. I've showed you these charts before, and you're familiar with it. Here we go, another 50-day moving average trying to break out and yet another failure. This time, the, the volume picks up on the DJIA, so we have a distribution day there. Um, let's just see what the small cap 600 looks like. The volume doesn't come in, but you can see now it's completely reversed all of the gains that it had on Friday. So I would assume that we are going to see another testing of the July low. I think we're going to go below the July lows, but what do I know? Let's go over some charts that were actually nice today. Look at it over here. Yeah, I got the same thing. Um, it looks better like this. As you can see, um, I know it's kind of a short base, but at least it's shaping up correctly. You don't have max green bop, and that's not good. And in fact, volume is falling as it moves up. But at least it's moving up, and it's got a bullish overall pattern. It looks much better on my laptop with the wide screen, so I think if you have a wider screen, it's going to look a little bit better. Um, but still, there's one stock that looks good. Here's a stock, CBMX uh, Combinatrix. Um, I'm looking for a pullback to the 50-day moving average. It's strong enough. It's got enough volume. Um, the BOP is not max green, but oh well. Still looking for a pullback on light volume and then a bounce off the 50-day moving average. Here's a stock I just told you to add to that's looking good overall. It's got a lot of green bop on this chart. It's got plenty of big up days on volume, and it's going up nice and smoothly. It's a nice overall chart in a market that's just not doing too well. It looks very pretty here, I have to admit. I, I like the way this one looks. It's definitely not as nice as XSI, which put in another great day today. Not a great day, but it's a positive day, and that's a gr great considering it was a down day. As you can see, the bop went from lower to heavier to max green, and it's just holding right above the 50-day moving average, making a nice tight triangle base. Um, I would use a, the drawing feature, but um, it's, there's a lag on this anyway, so it doesn't matter. I want to look at another stock I would love to buy on a pullback to the 50-day moving average. Thor, I don't like how it lost its max green bop today. That does bother me, and that is something to consider. Um, NTCT, here's one with extremely huge fundamentals. I would love to see it bounce soon on heavy volume. That way I could get long this stock because I believe um, I, I, it's got a 99 EPS. I'm not for sure, and I'll have to look it up, and I'll let you all know later. But it's still, it's another, it's another nice one that I'd like to see bounce. And another one is Med. I would love to see Med come back to this pivot point area, the June highs, which would probably match up with the 50-day moving average about that time. And then I would love to see it bounce off of it, and that would be a nice little long signal for us. Um... Let's see, there's one other stock I want to look at, and that's LDK. This is a solar stock, and it's completely making a right side of the base now. 
It's up too much to buy now. It's not safe enough from the 50-day moving average. And as you can see how choppy and V-ish the chart is, it needs to definitely round out more, possibly then make a handle and break out. Now, I, by the way, I just looked, and NTC, NTCT does have a 99 EPS rating with huge earnings growth, 143%, 71%, 78% sales growth, 103 111 117%. So that's why NTCT earlier um, I was liking it. So that's LDK. I definitely like LDK. I like the green bop that's showing up, so that's something. Let's look at some ugly charts. Rider. Um, these are not good to short because it's not below the 250-day moving average, but Rider is definitely rolling over. MC is one that if it would have had heavy volume, closed near the low of the day today, I would have gone short, but it did not do that. It's given me a tail, as you can see here, so it's not a short. But MC would be a good short if it had a weaker close. APWR, I want to show you a failure. Right about here on um, 8.5, it was looking good with the max green bop, with the volume surge, and with the price pattern. But it's failed, and that just shows you the kind of market that we are in. Um, I want to look at pot to show you that the... The, the those great chemical stocks you can completely see they are more than likely topping here after a climax top run um, it's giving me no chance to get in though see right here this day at the near the end of July low volume prevented me from being able to get um, short this stock by the time it broke down it was down too much so it's just down too much another stock that's showing up is IBM um, it's definitely looking like it wants to top out it's once again too early has too much support under it. Um, a stock I was short but I'm no longer short is breaking down BG. This is an ugly chart that continues to move lower. If it could get closer to the 50 day moving average and break down, I would love to get short again. And then the last one I want to show you is Priceline. Priceline is broken down. Once again, if it would have had heavy volume, I probably would have gone short today because as you can see, there's a long way for it to go down. It could go all the way down to 20 if it wanted to. So basically, we had a do-nothing market that fell today a lot. Um, let's just go back to the NASDAQ and end it with that. And that's what we have. We have that ugly, ugly, ugly. It's basically sideways. I want to show you this also. Since um, I believe it's 124 to 825 in seven months, we've gone a whole 0.2%. If you want to know why I'm not making money on the long or short side, it's because of that. You need a trend. If you remember, we made money from the top to the low in January, which was right around 23% whenever you take in the intraday to account for. So that's why we were able to make money in such a short time period. But as you can see now, it's ugly, and it's going sideways and going nowhere, and I plan on that to happen for a little while longer. This is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com. I hope that you enjoyed the market wrap for Monday. Hopefully we have something a little bit better for Tuesday.